patients pre can present with lung cancer at different stages. So what we call early lung cancer, which is uh, confined to the lung or, or late uh, metastatic um, uh, lung cancer, which is spread to other areas of the body. And it really depends at what stage patients present uh, with respect to the symptoms that they present with. Um, early lung cancers, uh, patients may be asymptomatic. Um, so cancers may be diagnosed from just from uh, from finding something on a chest X-ray or, or even from a screening CT scan. But patients may um, notice that they have a cough, um, a particularly a persistent cough. Um, certainly if they have any um, what we call hemoptysis, so coughing up any blood, uh, they should go and see their GP for investigation. Um, if people find they're getting progressively more short of breath, uh, that can be a sign of lung cancer. Um, and those are probably the, the common uh, signs of early lung cancers. Now, you know, more, more advanced lung cancers um, really will present with symptoms based on where the cancer may have spread to. Um, so patients might feel sick if it's, um, or have headaches if it's spread to the brain, or, or unfortunately can present with pain um, if it's spread to the bones or, or, or other areas. So I think, Things have really changed in lung cancer in the last 10 years. So um, there's lots of new treatment options for patients. Um, certainly the quality of the surgery that the, 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 the surgeons do for early lung cancers has improved uh, significantly. Um, and uh, in the field of radiotherapy, which is a common treatment for, for uh, early lung cancer, uh, we now use stereotactic radiotherapy, uh, which is a very focused form of radiotherapy, allowing treatment to be given in a sh uh, short number of treatments. Um, uh, we can use this um, to, to effectively cure early lung cancers very effectively. And, uh, and even now that technology continues to improve and there, um, there are some radiotherapy machines that have uh, MRI scanners attached to them to make the treatment even more precise. Um, and then for patients with locally advanced uh, lung cancers, um, the mixture of chemotherapy and radiotherapy um, can now be improved by uh, adding in uh, immune treatments. And there are a number of immunotherapies in lung cancer that have shown to be, uh, you know, very good treatments for a lot of patients. So in locally advanced lung cancer, we would uh, sometimes give patients immunotherapy. That's a new treatment that we've been giving for the last few years. And um, certainly in the, in the stage four metastatic uh, setting for patients with very advanced lung cancers, there's a number of new drug treatments that have been approved recently um, and can help uh, extend the uh, quantity and quality of, of patients' lives. So to diagnose uh, lung cancer, um, there's a number of people involved. So we all work as a multidisciplinary team uh, and uh, often a respiratory physician will be involved. Uh, and so they may be involved in uh, doing a bronchoscopy uh, which is a, a camera test to look um, uh, down the trachea, the windpipe, to um, uh, look inside the patient and sometimes to take a biopsy uh, of the cancer from the inside. Uh, you'll also um, need to have uh, some scans. So this can be a CT scan or, or ultimately a, a PET scan, uh, which is a more advanced form of uh, imaging. Um, and uh, that's performed by, by radiologists. And they will also sometimes do a biopsy uh, through the skin into the lung if needed to uh, confirm the diagnosis of lung cancer. Now, you know, once we've confirmed that diagnosis, there's sometimes some additional tests that um, need to be done as part of the diagnosis. So this can be special tests looking at the, the, the tissue, the cancer tissue itself. And those are performed by a pathologist. Uh, and then there can be some additional tests that we need to, to do in order to think about what the most appropriate treatment uh, for a patient is. And that can be an MRI scan of the brain to see if there's any cancer spread there. It can be uh, a, a, a particular uh, scan of the kidneys to see how well they're working before we give a patient chemotherapy. Um, and obviously very importantly for lung cancer, uh, often we'll need to assess uh, how well a patient's lungs work because um, this could be a really important factor deciding upon whether a patient can have surgery or radiotherapy or other treatments. So. Uh, I think uh, these days we do a very thorough uh, assessment of patients in order to, to properly diagnose and, uh, and stage uh, the lung cancer as early, locally advanced or, or, or advanced. 
So this is an area where there's a lot of um, research at the moment. Um, and I work with some research groups that are actively looking at this. I think still to this day, smoking is a very common cause of lung cancer. Um, and I think that's been uh, more appreciated over the last um, 50 years. Uh, and, you know, I'd advise anyone who's sm uh, smoking to, to think about um, seeking out services that will help them to, to quit smoking. Um, so smoking is by far and away the major cause of lung cancer still. However, there are some other um, causes of lung cancer. Asbestos is still a cause of um, certainly of, of mesothelioma, um, and which is a type of a lung cancer of the, the lining of the lungs. Um, and, and so patients, people who've had prior exposure to asbestos um, are at risk of developing uh, mesothelioma. Um, but there's also a lot of people who unfortunately get uh, lung cancers which aren't associated with smoking. Um, and these are cancers that will have particular uh, mutations. So things like EGFR mutations or ALK mutations. So these are particular types of, of lung cancers. Uh, they're uncommon and we know that they're not associated with smoking, but we're still not sure exactly what causes them. And, and that's an area of, of, of active research. So unfortunately, you know, lung cancer is uh, a difficult uh, cancer to treat, depending upon uh, how early it's detected. Um, if it's detected at an early stage, um, uh, you know, often the, the burden of those symptoms can be quite low for patients, um, although this, the treatment um, uh, can, be, um, can be challenging and, and patients will need a lot of support for that. Um, obviously, if you have surgery, it can take time to recover from that. Uh, and coming for radiotherapy uh, can take uh, several uh, days or weeks out of a, a person's schedule in order to have that treatment and, uh, and a period of time to recover from that. So, so patients can often be quite tired um, uh, from all that treatment and, and, and can take some time to recover, which is why it's very important to have uh, support from, uh, from family or carers, uh, you know, where you have that available to support you uh, um, during your treatment. You know, how well treatments work really depends upon um, the stage of uh, lung cancer that a patient's diagnosed with. And so, so that's really how advanced the lung cancer is at, um, uh, when you, you know, come and see a, a, a surgeon or a respiratory physician or an oncologist. So if we, if, like all cancers, if you catch them early, you know, outcomes are better uh, and patients are more likely to be cured and to live longer. In the early lung cancer setting, so if patients just have a small cancer in the, in the lung, which hasn't spread to any uh, lymph nodes, you know, surgery um, can be very effective uh, at curing these uh, in over 90, 95% of, of, of cases, as can um, focus stereotactic radiotherapy. So if you're diagnosed with a very early lung cancer, outcomes can be very good. As the, uh, patients present, present with more advanced cancers, which might have spread to some of the lymph glands in the chest, um, that becomes more uh, challenging to treat. So patients would, would need um, uh, more advanced operations or a combination of chemotherapy and radiotherapy. And in those scenarios, uh, five year overall survival, so the, the percentage of, um, of patients living for five years after diagnosis is probably around 40 to 50%, uh, depending upon each patient's individual circumstances. Now that's, um, not uh, much better than it used to be in previous years, but, but still um, everyone's actively working to try and find uh, new and better treatments for patients with lung cancer. Now, unfortunately, if patients present with you know, very advanced lung cancers, so metastatic cancers, stage four tumors, we know that in general, that scenario is, um, uh, we can't get rid of that cancer altogether. Um, and really it's about uh, keeping patients as well as possible for as long as possible. However, you know, even in this scenario, you know, treatments have really improved and, you know, with modern immunotherapy and chemotherapy that we now have for lung cancer, um, you know, there are patients living for several years after, after diagnosis. So um, I, I, there's still a lot of, uh, of, of very good and effective treatments for patients with, with advanced metastatic cancers.